In this episode, we're making a creamy garlic mushroom glaze for a steak. I've had this before, it is the bomb on a steak. Uh, let me tell you, I, there's so many flavors going on with this. I think you guys are really gonna like it. That steak is just cooked perfectly and you add that mushroom glaze to it, oh man. All right, so let's get to making it, guys. The first part of this cook starts with bacon. And I just bought a whole thing of bacon, so now I'm just gonna cut it up. I'm gonna cut up about half of this, and I'm gonna transfer this to a pan and get it started. Let's add our bacon to the pan. Give it a nice stir, kind of break these bacon pieces apart. Now at this point, we just want this to cook on medium heat until they're almost crisp. We've been doing this for about 15 minutes. As you can see, we are getting close to crispy. I think it's time to remove the bacon and go on to the next. You get the idea how we do this. Leaving the grease in the pan, we're gonna put in two tablespoons of butter and we're gonna melt it down. I am gonna start scraping up the residuals of the bacon too because that's just flavor. With our butter melted, it's time to start putting in our mushrooms. Give them a nice little stir. And I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil onto this. And then we're gonna let the mushrooms cook for about two to three minutes. These have been in the pan for two and a half minutes. I am gonna, at this point, I'm gonna put in about a quarter a cup of wine. Now I'm using Chardonnay, but you could use chicken broth if you didn't like the wine. We're gonna let this sit for about two, three minutes as well. Still on medium heat. Another three minutes is down. We're still on medium heat. The recipe does call for six cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna eyeball this. Looks good enough to me. Add it in there. Let it work its magic. At this point, I can smell the garlic, so now I'm just gonna add some parsley to it. Not a lot, just a little. And then we're gonna add some thyme to it because that's just what we need is thyme, right? And we will remove the thyme later. We just want the flavor to come off on this. The recipe does call for a cup and a half of heavy cream. I'm gonna eyeball that as well. Stir it up. We're gonna reduce the heat let this thicken up a little bit and it's time to add our bacon in. We're into this about 10 minutes. Give it a nice stir. Going to add some salt and pepper to it. Give it another nice stir. It's about time to start putting our bacon in as well, but before we do that, we want to remove the thyme. And I'm just going to put the thyme onto the same plate that I have the bacon on. Should we look around, see if there's anything left? Nope. Let's add our bacon back in with our mushroom. Stir it up. 
And we're gonna let it sit for another five minutes. Clean the stove top. And then finish this up. Here in just a moment, we're gonna broil this. But before we do that, we wanna add some mozzarella cheese to the top. And we also wanna add some Parmesan cheese. Flatten it out over the top of this, and now it is time to broil. Like I said, it's time to broil. Let's put that in there and set the broiler, and then we're gonna have to watch it like a hawk, as you know. The next leg of our journey is the steak. And let me tell you about a steak. This is just according to me. If you have to put steak sauce on a steak, it's a bad steak. Same kind of applies to if you put too much salt, pepper, garlic, any kind of spice on it. If you drowned out the flavor of that steak, then it's no good, right? So for me, a steak should come out with just a little bit of salt and pepper or some kind of rub, but just a little bit because it should complement it. Now, Uncle Steve is not a sponsor of either of my shows or am I affiliate with him, but he is a good friend and I believe in his product and I'm gonna put a link down below for his website if you're interested in buying and if you do, tell him the dude sent you. Our steak is done. Time to move it off to the side because our mushroom garlic glaze is done. So at this point, the cheese is melted and it's nice and bubbly. Oh man, I'm gonna stir it all up together. It looks absolutely amazing. And the smell, wow. Now from what I've tried, this can be a standalone side dish as well, but I'm gonna put just a little bit over the top. That looks awesome. I can hardly wait to eat it. Holy moly, that's good. Seriously. You know, there's so many flavors going on here. Seriously. The steak works well with the glaze, and the glaze itself is awesome. You get the mushroom and the cheese, and just a little bit of the wine flavor in there. And that steak, just a bomb, man. It's perfect. All right. Make sure you guys give this one a try. Recipes down below. I want to thank everybody for watching. We also have a website up now, too. It's just called thedudeskitchen.com. Make sure to check that out. Subscribe for emails. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Make sure to try this, and we'll talk to you later. Take care.